Humans have been curious about one big question for a long time. Is there life outside of Earth? This question has been around since ancient times, and it's a popular theme in stories like Star Trek or Greek myths. Science is always learning more about the universe, and sometimes we think we might find aliens soon. But what if we've been looking in the wrong places? Scientific studies suggest that life may exist in forms that seem unusual or even impossible on Earth, but could thrive elsewhere. In a universe that spans billions of light years, our understanding of life has been limited to carbon-based organisms since it's the only life form we have proof of. However, what if I told you there may be creatures out there entirely different from anything we've ever seen? So buckle up and get ready to journey into the unknown as we delve into the realm of non-carbon-based life forms, a fascinating and largely unexplored frontier that could revolutionize our understanding of biology and the nature of existence itself. Arsenic-based life Although it seems counterintuitive that one of the most iconic poisons on Earth has a basis in forming life, science suggests that it is entirely possible for arsenic to be incorporated into complex biomolecules. The idea that arsenic could be present in life forms is based on its chemical resemblance to phosphorus, which is a fundamental component of DNA in Earth's life forms. Research indicates that arsenic might have been a part of DNA in our planet's early stages of life, substituting for phosphorus. This change might have occurred because, at that time, microbial activity was not able to extract phosphorus from rocks in the ocean, so arsenic was more accessible to organisms near hydrothermal vents, located deep in the ocean. The toxic element could have been more suitable for the simple life forms that existed millions of years ago. As a result, it is quite possible that creatures composed of this substance may exist in the unexplored depths of extraterrestrial oceans. Ammonia-based life Water is an essential part of all of Earth's life. It serves as a solvent in our body, playing a critical role in almost all chemical reactions that generate energy and sustain essential functions. This applies to humans and even the tiniest microbes. However, recent scientific studies suggest there may be alternatives to water. For life to thrive in a different substance, the substance would need to possess either a broad range of temperatures at which it can remain in liquid form or be present on a planet where the temperature doesn't fluctuate much throughout the year. For example, water remains in its liquid state between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius. Ammonia, on the other hand, remains in liquid form between negative 77.7 and negative 33.3 degrees Celsius, which is a relatively broad range of 44.4 degrees Celsius. Although such temperatures may appear too cold to support life, it is possible that the essential reactions and processes for life could still exist, but at a slower pace. As a result, organisms that employ ammonia instead of water as their chemical solvent would likely have longer lifespans. But their metabolism and evolution would be slower than those of water-based life forms. Silicone-based life the molecule silicone shares a huge resemblance in both structure and chemical properties with carbon, the most fundamental building block for most life forms on Earth. The remarkable ability of carbon to construct intricate chains of atoms and molecules large enough to encode biological information, such as DNA, plays a vital role in our understanding of life as we know it. While silicone is commonly used in computer chips, it is also the closest humanity has come to creating its own intelligent system. Given the right circumstances, silicone could theoretically form its own version of DNA. In fact, certain organisms on Earth, such as diatoms, use silicone in their biological structures. These algae play a vital role in the ocean's ecosystem, consuming billions of metric tons of silicone each year and generating almost 20% of the Earth's oxygen. Therefore, it is probable that silicone would serve as an early stage of life on other planets, transforming their atmospheres into oxygen and preparing the planet for more sophisticated life forms in the future. Future. Methane based life. Methane can be more prevalent than water in certain environments, such as Saturn's moon Titan. 
If methane-based life does exist, it would have to be adapted to living in an environment that is vastly different from Earth since, as the models show, the cell walls would be constructed to function in liquid methane at extremely low temperatures, as low as negative 180 degrees Celsius. Methane is a gas at room temperature, so methane-based life would not be able to exist on the surface of a planet or moon as we do. Instead, it would have to live in an environment where methane is liquid or solid, such as Enceladus' subsurface oceans or Titan's hydrocarbon seas. However, life in methane oceans would be significantly slower paced than on Earth due to the frigid temperatures required to maintain liquid oceans, similar to ammonia-based organisms that we discussed before. Celestial Life while science does not currently support the idea that stars or galaxies have the ability to form life, it does indicate that life with organic compounds can form outside of a home planet with the help of nearby stars and star structures. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, scientists detected organic compounds such as methanol, dimethyl ether, and methyl formate within two nebulae of the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, which proves that complex organic molecules essential for life can exist in such an environment. Given the appropriate circumstances and sufficient time, these compounds could potentially develop into self-replicating molecules, forming the foundations of life in these nebulae, and eventually evolve into more complex biological structures, since the creatures that could emerge from this process would evolve without the influence of gravity, their appearance and characteristics would be unpredictable and difficult to imagine. Plasma-based life and the last one that I include in the list is truly from the realm of science fiction. According to a study conducted in 2007, by simulating conditions that exist in space, it was found that plasma and dust can show characteristics that could be considered life. Through the polarization of plasma and dust, these entities can form microscopic double helix strands composed of solid particles. Sound familiar, right? Even more fascinating, the study found that these strands can undergo changes similar to organic molecules, specifically DNA. They can copy, divide, and even evolve as less stable strands break apart and more stable ones endure. It is quite possible that those life forms could exist in the space between stars, within vast dust clouds, or in plasma, or dust rings surrounding stars composed entirely of non-organic materials. With ongoing evolution, these entities could eventually gain sentience. Which of these life forms do you think exist right now on other planets? Let us know in the comments section below.